have this, uh, this database of uh, widgets. We have, um, we have topics and whatnot, and they're relating to each other. How about let's create a couple of topics and let's add some widgets to those topics and see how they relate to one another. All right, so let's uh, head over to the uh, client. And in that client, uh, we had these dummy topics over here that we, 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 just, we were just hard coding. Right, so let's, uh, let's revive that. Right, I believe we, the, the topics are rendering on the right-hand side. Let's look at the component that does that. I believe it was the, um, it was the course editor oh, that has all those components. Uh, there, so let's see, here's the course editor, there it is. Let's close all the others. And notice that we have the, uh, the lesson tabs, there we go, we have the topics. Uh, let's see, what, what do we have for the topics? Let's, uh, uh, let's bring that back, let's see the topics. What do we have? So topics right now is just hard coded. It's not doing anything. All right, so let's revive this so we can create something. Yes? Let's create a couple of things here. All right, excellent. So let's see how this renders. There's our topics, hard coded topics. Yes? All right, so let's play around with this. Uh, let's create a real quick a reducer for this. Uh, let's see, this will be a topic reducer. So new uh, JavaScript here, and this will be a topic reducer. And this is just going to be cons topic uh, reducer, uh, which is going to have a state and an action. And um, this is just going to uh, come back with a state. The state, we might initialize it as empty state and in our switch right, we're going to take a look at the action dot type and based on that type uh, we're going to do different things but the default action would be to just return the old state yes and to try this out maybe we can uh, initialize this as an initial state as a variable that we can declare here cons initial state is that it has that the topics are is an array with um, ID one two three and the title is topic A and let's copy this a couple of times A B C A B and C there we go all right we got that that uh, reducer. We can plug in that reducer in the editor, right? We can just load that brand new reducer, import topic reducer, top, oh, we didn't export it. Let's export it. So we'll do um, uh, export default topic reducer. There we go. So now we should be able to import it, add it to our list of topics. So this would be topics of reducers, topics. Here's a topic reducer. There it is. Excellent. Now we have topics being added to the, uh, to the uh, uh, store. Excellent. And we can hook it up with our brand new topic pills by uh, connecting it, right? We can say export default uh, connect, connect with the topic pills. And um, we'll import that from React Redux and provided a state mapper and say that uh, cons, the state mapper, is going <coughs> to excuse me, thank you. We're going to take the state and we're going to calculate, we're going to extract the, the topics from the topics, from the state, state dot topics, topics. And we're going to feed that state mapper to the connector. And now we're going to have access to those topics over here, yes? Which we can now um, render here as, as topics.map topic and then render here a, a couple of line items and render the title of the topic. And let's not forget the key. The key will be topic.id. All right. Excellent. So let's see if this blows up. 
there it is. There's ABC, right, coming from our reducer, okay? Uh, but what we want to be able to do is instead hook it up with the database, all right? So let's hook it up with the, with the database. 